Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm not a professional vlogger, but I am a Ukrainian and I believe the world needs to know more about my country, especially during this awful war with Russia. I'm very grateful for your support, your comments and your questions. They inspire much of my thinking and you can see answers uh, in my vlogs. But uh, sometimes I ignore uh, people who demonstrate they are total supporters of Putin or they think Stalin was great. Not because I have nothing to say to these people, but I don't see a reason. I, th I have realized this will happen when I started my vlog and I'm not afraid of negative comments because, like, you know, people are dying on the streets of my country and then if something like that happens, you totally differently look at minor problems like negative comments. But I uh, believe um, the conversation is worth continuing if you can persuade someone or if a person asks you questions. But if it is just a command saying that you know better than I do living in this country, then of course I have nothing to say. And uh, also if people are extremely aggressive towards like Putin is great, Stalin is great or uh, Sputnik <laughs> and so on, all the other Russian symbols, um, I will not continue that conversation because I don't see a reason for that. There are other useful things. Once again, not because I have nothing to say, but I don't want to spend my time. Also, as I have mentioned in my previous vlogs, I don't feel sorry for ordinary Russians because first, as Churchill said, if a nation is ruled by a dictator, then it's not the dictator to blame. And second, well, because if, the, if I saw videos of poor old ladies in Russia who say uh, they have lost half of their pensions because of sanctions, but you know, lots of old ladies in Kharkiv, in Kyiv, in Chernihiv lost their houses. And many of them were children during the Second World War. So for them, it is a totally unbelievable experience. Moreover, I will tell you that, for example, the east of Ukraine is generally a Russian-speaking region and they were more tolerant towards Russian culture than, for example, the West. And can you imagine how, um, um, how dramatically their attitude has changed and uh, perhaps Putin uh, did very much to ruin uh, the ideas of this Russian world that he wanted to develop. Also, today we had a public funeral in my city in the central cathedral and on the central square of three young men who died heroically in this war with Russia. Two of them were pilots, totally uh, young, smart guys who had a different plan for their life, but they had to protect their land and they followed their duty. And I understand our soldiers. I don't understand Russian soldiers. And uh, believe me, when you say not to blame Russians, uh, we have to realize it's not just Putin. There are thousands of Russian soldiers on the territory of Ukraine. And when they are questioned, they say they knew they were shooting uh, civilian objects. But that was an order. Well, um, I cannot understand that. If they don't understand they are fighting with civilians, they came to an independence country, then why should I understand their reasons or whatever? Um, and very often in my uh, vlogs, I compare Putin to Hitler or Stalin. And also I have told you about the dangers and crimes of the Soviet regime and received one command that uh, inspired this blog. The comment was that if you compare Russians to Soviets, then you have to compare Germans to Nazis. But that is a totally wrong attitude. Why? First of all, uh, Germans have demonstrated uh, their changes, uh, their uh, changes in the attitude to what happened during the Second World War. And today in Berlin, you will never never see a portrait of Hitler. But in modern Russia, you can see Stalin everywhere. He is a very popular figure and his cult is revived with the help of Putin. You can buy t-shirts, you can... What, I, what made me laugh, it was a couple of years ago, uh, there are some churches that have Stalin um, among the icons. You all know that in Soviet Union, uh, religion was aggressively prosecuted and prohibited. And that is 
total nonsense that um, many Russian churches now use Stalin as a saint or a substitute of a saint. This shows how everything uh, is, how much everything is run in the heads of people who are under propaganda. And also I think that uh, Putin actually is just the continuation of Hitler and uh, Stalin and I have some reasons to prove that. Well, first of all, it's not okay when the country has a president for 22 years without changing him. And even if our democracy is not ideal, there are lots of things we have to fix. And as in many other democracies, there are lots of things that we change and we never worship our presidents. You know, we often tell jokes about them. <laughs> we treat them as people. And that is uh, totally different in Russia, where you have a president equal to Tsar, who rules for 22 years, then um, their party, their leading party, uh, all the opposition parties are tiny and actually they are pocket opposition and everything is governed by Zdina Rosia, then censorship. For example, right now you can get in jail in Russia if you uh, speak the truth about situation in Ukraine. And uh, today on news, I have seen a video that actually compared the speech of Hitler before the start of the Second World War to the speech of Putin before his operation in Ukraine. And it res they resembled each other in a very uh, uh, terrifying manner, I would say. Well, uh, first of all, Hitler spoke that he was looking for all... Um, non-military ways to solve the problems of German people living on the territory of Poland who were totally suppressed by uh, the regime and this is just the same what Putin said that like all of uh, Russian speaking Ukrainians are suppressed in Ukraine and he comes to save them then this idea of the superiority if you look at ordinary Russians who are asked about their attitude to what is going on they say soldiers are doing right we have to show them they are russian people so they totally deny the existence of ukrainian nation and for me it's a great surprise how come they say that we do not exist and at the same time they claim that we are nationalists it's something absurd but again it works like uh, that and uh, there are lots of things if you look at those meetings, if you look at, look at their celebration of the Crimea annexation, if you look at the symbols that they use and uh, how zombied the society is, it's not difficult to compare Putin with Hitler and his love for Stalin. And you know, Stalin is an awful tyrant and uh, during his regime, millions of uh, Soviet citizens died millions of uh, intellectuals and even after the end of the second world war he used lots of concentration camps that were previously used by nazi he used them for his own citizens and many ukrainians died during stalin's terror and uh, that's why in the majority of civilized countries his cult and his remembrance is forbidden but in russia it is revived right now and a couple of years ago it was on news in ukraine and in many other post-soviet countries they had a celebration some celebration dedicated to stalin and many people came on that meeting and only one man threw flowers at the monument and said that he was a tyrant, a killer of women and children and so on. And surprise, he was taken to a police office, not the people who went to the meeting to celebrate Stalin. Uh, there is a good movie I can advise you, actually a comedy, The Death of Stalin. It is uh, specific, it has that... Uh, political uh, humor and perhaps you have to be in the context of the Soviet Union but uh, it is a funny comedy uh, that was filmed somewhere I'm, I'm afraid I'm not sure in Europe or in the United States but this film is forbidden in Russia why can you imagine that a comedy about Hitler is forbidden in modern Germany no, why? Because modern Germany realizes that Hitler was a criminal who used propaganda to deceive the world. But in Russia, they believe they still continue the Second World War, that Stalin was the greatest ruler 
Putin his reincarnation, he returns back all the Russian lands and soon he will explain that Poland, Lithuania and I don't know half of Germany are Russian lands. That's why he is dangerous and um, I don't see any way to negotiate with him because you do not negotiate with terrorists. Thank you for your questions, thank you for your subscriptions, please feel free to uh, comment and Slava Ukraini!